Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again in an undisclosed location. And I'm on the trail, man. I'm on the trail of the Aqua Yeti. And you can see right here, these drag marks. That's something the Aqua Yeti does. It likes to uh, get big trees and construct structures. And you can see it's kind of an optimal Aqua Yeti environment because you've got the sand and then you've got the, uh, the water. So they come down here to drink. And when they do, they drag the, uh, the, the logs. You can see there's the drag mark right there. Curiously enough, you know, you would expect to see some, uh, some footprints. But due to the webbing on the Aqua Yeti's feet, it's, uh, it's, it's often hard to see those footprints. And that's the way they've been able to stay around for so long is uh you know they they have those special feet and they can uh they can move around during the night and they don't typically leave any sort of trace so you know the aqua yeti for that reason is extra hard to find i know a lot of people have had success uh, finding sasquatch but the aqua yeti is completely different it's uh it's a much more covert species it's very uh again very quiet now sometimes they will make a noise and it's kind of a chirp it's like a but it's very low volume and it's uh if you ever hear it though you can tell them you can say hey that is uh what irish guy said the aqua yeti sounds like and they say that and this is what we don't know they say that because it's to communicate with other with other aqua yetis but what i believe and you can see over there see that cave what i believe is that they're basically talking to the other aqua yetis and they're saying yeah hey i found a tree and they're like okay bring it back because you know we need to we need to build a bigger fire in our in our cave and i think that's what the chirps mean when you hear the aqua yeti chirp but What's amazing about the Aqua Yeti, you can see here, this water is probably a few feet deep, but you know, the Aqua Yeti will, will walk through the water without even making a splash. So, I mean, if you're, if you're out here, I mean, you may hear, you know, over there when the Aqua Yeti goes up the, uh, the embankment, you know, you may hear a few sticks crack. But other than that, you're not gonna hear a splish or a splash because the Aqua Yeti's feet are so well engineered that, you know, it's, uh, it's a very quiet animal. So, you know, if you're looking for the Aqua Yeti, you know, I encourage you to, uh, to check out locations. How y'all doing? Good. See, they're looking for the Aqua Yeti also. Um, but you can see here, this is a great environment for the Aqua Yeti. So tell me what you think within the comment section below. And have you ever heard the Aqua Yeti chirp? Again, it's like, chirp, chirp, chirp. It's hard to make that sound, but the Aqua Yeti can. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day and check out my other Aqua Yeti adventures. See you later. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.